Hi, Mrs. Novello here in the Expressive Arts Room, and today we're going to talk about how to use a sponge, round and flat brushes, and the paint palette when practicing our small details for our cubism portrait. So brushes come in different types. There are round brushes that have a round top and flat brushes that have a flat top. And the differences are if you wanted to use um, a paint stroke to follow a straight line, you would choose a flat brush. If you had a space that was more open and you needed to fill, you would choose a round brush. And as you're working at your table, you'll notice that your table has a certain color butcher paper. So this table is orange and the paint palette is filled with orange, black, and white. So as you're working with your project today, after you're done with practice, you'll be traveling with your project to every color tabletop to paint your abstract color scheme. But for today's practice, you're going to sit at your table and use the paints that are provided. So your practice strip has very small details that are outlined in black, and these details are very similar to the details you have on your cubism portrait. So we're going to use this to practice first before we apply paint using small brushes with our project. So I want you to go ahead and grab a brush and choose your paint. Now when you are loading paint onto your brush, you really just need to load, uh, dip the tip of the brush into the paint. If you load it too much, you'll have way too much paint and it'll go outside the lines. So if that happens, simply scrape your brush on the side of the palette to release the paint that's extra. So very carefully, the goal is to stay inside the lines because you all have sharpied the details in your portrait. So very carefully, staying inside the lines, paint the inside of the eye outline. When you're finished with that, I want you to use the sponge to clean your brush. And how you do that is you simply take the sponge, kind of and robe it over the brush and wash it off. So every time you use a brush and you want to switch colors or um, if you want to blend or switch shades of orange, then you clean it off and you can use that same brush. This is going to be important because if you wait until the end of the day and rinse your brushes, brushes can end up looking like this and they are no longer usable. So cleaning them as you go will help maintain the brushes. Now to blend a color, let's say for instance you have uh, this shade of orange and you're interested in blending it um, into a different shade. You'll have newspaper at your table and you simply just scoop up a little bit of orange and put it on your newspaper for blending. Rinse off your brush and then scoop up a little bit of white or black. If you want it to be darker, you'd add black. Mix it around and then you have a lighter shade of orange. So you can use the white and black to change the tint or shade of your color depending on what it is you're looking for. And then with that, carefully fill in the interior space of the eye. Okay. Once that's done, rinse off your brush and select a different brush just to get practice with different brushes. And with this one, practice painting your nose. But for the nose, make sure that you go around the black nostril. You're not painting over it. Very carefully. So this is going to take focus and steady hand and definitely not loading your brush with a lot of paint. Okay, so Continue to practice with the mouth and the small details. Um, after you're done with practice, you'll be rotating from table to table uh, with your portrait to acquire the color scheme that you want for your portrait.